Rhythmic notation is notation written inside the staff that shows a rhythm that the whole band is going to play. And it looks like this. The note heads have slashes and they're not on a particular pitch. These can be releases or what we call footballs, whole notes that the band plays like at the end of a song, at the end of a section, or at the beginning of a section. They can be band breaks um, or any other type of rhythm that we want the whole band to play. So if we just want a rhythm that maybe one or two of the rhythm section members um, are going to play and, the, and you want it notated in the chart, we're going to use what's called kicks over time or rhythm over time and that's noted, notated like this and that's a different video. So to do this, it's really easy. You're going to want to just select whatever notes you want to choose with the simple tool here. So let's say I want this beat to be a quarter note band hit. So I'm just going to basically just choose a pitch on the fourth beat. I'm going to click that with a mouse. Then I'm going to go to the staff tool. I'm going to select just that note. I'm going to say rhythmic notation. And there it is. Then I'm just going to select the rest of the measure for slash notation. So it's as easy as that. Let's go to the last measure and let's say we want a, uh, a whole note or a football or release at the end. Um, one thing I do if I'm going to be erasing rests here, so I would do that to create the whole note, I'm going to want to choose simple entry options here in the simple menu and just make sure that I have fill with rests and at end of measure unchecked. That way, um, otherwise if I would erase these rests, they would it would continue to create more rests, which I don't want. So I'm going to choose a whole note now, and I'm just going to put that here, and do the same with the staff tool, click on it, rhythmic notation, and there's my final hit. All right, thanks.